There's Ty Block. He takes the hill tonight. Against the Phillies, couple of lefties getting the start. Ty actually has his only complete game shutout in his career against the Phillies. That happened back in 2017. And a little comebacker. And that'll be a nice 1 3 start for Ty Block. Pitch is a slow roller towards first. Montero will step on the bag ahead of Real Muto. Bryce Harper, he's hit it five straight, nine of ten. Delayed call. I think he was very happy about this pitch, no. was he? Brian Walsh, the home plate umpire. Swing and a miss. And Block gets the strikeout. Please go down in order. A little frustration here at the top of the first. He's just been fined for slamming his helmet. He gets booted from the game. Mm -hmm. And then Bryce, it didn't look like it was all that heated. It was strike two that he was upset about. See, I, it's just way too early if you're the umpire to do this. He was just having a conversation with him, and, that, and that's, you have to have some feel for the game. Since Harper got tossed, the last time he got tossed was here on Mother's Day last year. Uh, and this, this happened with Jake Bird. He even talked about it after the game. I, I'm an emotional guy. I just shouldn't direct it at the other team. And when he did, Bryce took exception to it. Bryce came out, let them know. That's Taiwan Walker right there. Almost made it all the way into the Rockies dugout. And Sanchez's 10th start, a 3.31 ERA. Phillies have actually won his last three starts all in May. He had a 2.75 ERA over that stretch. Line drive to right center field. Rojas is in center now, and he'll track that one Ooh. down. A little snow cone at the ends. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good change up. Got him. And there's the first strikeout of the night for Christopher Sanchez. No runs on a hit. Two outs and nobody on for Jordan Beck. Trying to stop an 0 for 13 at the plate. And the first pitch. Line down the right field line. That's a base hit. It'll get to the wall. Beck will dig for second. We'll get there easily. Castellanos to toss it in. Stand up. Two out double for Jordan Beck. Jumps on that first pitch. Letting that fastball travel. Trying to focus on the bottom of the baseball. He is on time. Little squibber right of the mound. Off to get it with a bare hand is Sanchez, and he'll flip it to first. So another good inning for Block. 29 pitches through three. And a one, two, three, third inning for Ty Block. Middle of three, no score. On to the top of the fifth inning, one hit for the Phils. Castellanos was uh, one of two strikeout victims for Block. That ball's hit well. Out to left center field. On the run is Doyle into the alley. It is gone! Five rows up into the bleachers. And the Phillies take a 1-0 lead. This could be the start of something interesting here for Casti, who has not had a great year so far. There's no question about that, but... Bob Thompson staying with him, and he's starting to deliver a little piece of cheese that he tried to get in on him, and he crushes this ball to one of the deepest parts of this ballpark, and it uh, it couldn't hold him. As Edmundo Sosa bats, the 2-1 is blasted to left, and that one's going to go. Yes. And Edmundo has Homer to left, a laser, his third of the year. Second in the inning for the Phils, it's 2-0. Well, that got out quick. And boy, Edmundo Sosa, what a shot of the arm he has been as the everyday shortstop since Turner went down. Now Hunter Goodman, this young man uh, started his first game as a catcher this past Sunday. 2-1 to Goodman is hit pretty well to the left center field. That will not be caught by the center fielder Rojas into second in time just ahead of the tag. Rojas made a wonderful throw from out near the warning track and nearly got Hunter Goodman. I'll tell you what, Hunter Goodman almost hit that ball over the fence. That hit the base of the wall and just stopped right there. That allowed Rojas to get there quickly and fire it in. He was able to barehand it and make it interesting at second. Trail over the head of Goodman and that the deck for a hit. And the Rocks will have first and third as. A throw from Ross. Always be bone. With one out, now you got runners on the corners on the top of the order coming up. And this is that elevated changeup. This is a mistake, and Trejo does what you're supposed to do with those. Take it right back through the box. It gives the Rockies their first opportunity to put some runs up against Sanchez. Now back to the top of the order, Ezekiel Tovar. Flight out to deep right center. His first time up grounded to third. 
It's over up the middle of Roxel on the board as Goodman will score after he doubled. Trejo moves down to second. So Tobar with the RBI single to make it two to one. And this is a changeup. This is just good hitting right here by Toby. He gets the pitch, change up, he picks it up, he stays with it, lets it travel, and again, drive it right back through the box. Almost had to let go with one hand. Yep, that's what I mean, but that's recognition. That's you recognizing as a hitter. Hey, I'm out front, keep the hands back. If you take that top hand off the bat, it allows you to extend and take the bat further. Bottom of the sixth inning, the Phillies up two to one, and Orion Kirkering will take over for Christopher Sanchez, who goes five and a third and allows seven hits. Grounds that one left side. Sosa has it, goes to second for one, stops throw to first, not in time. And two down now with runners at the corners. Over the shortstop, nice comfortable hop for Sosa, and Kirkering strands a couple of runners. On to the seventh, the Phil's hanging on to a one-run lead. That leads the way to Matt Carasetti, who's uh, who's a lifer in this game, and he's back with the Rocks with two on and two out. 31 years old, pitching professionally since 2013. 47 major league games. This will be his 48th. 439 at the minor league level. Gets the swing and the miss. Comes in and retires the Phillies and gets out of it with two on. So this game stays 2-1 as we're in the middle of the seventh. So man aboard. Phillies lead by a run. Without Real Muto, who's two for three tonight. Hit hard. Trail. Nice play. The Rodgers is one. And they turn two. Five, four, three. Alan Trail. It's like I barely saw that, but I gloved it. Made the throw, and Rodgers made the turn. To one pitch is sent to right field. Hunter Goodman moving towards the line, still going that way, runs it down. And Matt Carasetti posts a zero to keep the Rockies down one. Jacob Stallings pinch hitting for Alan Trejo. 300 average on the nose. Swing wow. and a ball to Tim Webb to left. Sometimes you swing and you do not miss Jacob Stallings. And this game is tied. First pitch off of Alvarado. A no doubt from Jacob Stallings, a pitch hit home run. Yeah, he did exactly what you got to do against a guy like Alvarado. You got to get up there and you got to fire at that first pitch. He gets a fastball, 102 miles per hour off the bat. Third homer of the year for Jacob. It'll load the bases as Stott, stopping at third. Top of the order is coming up in Kyle Schwarber. Got him looking. And Mears gets the strikeout. Schwarber doesn't agree with Brian Walsh as he walks back to the dugout. Here's his next pitch. And a ground ball to the first baseman. Montero's got that. He'll step on the bag. And Nick Mears and company holds the Phillies in the top of the 10. Soto's going to have to deal with Ezekiel Tovar. And you would think, even though he's only in his second year, Tovar, he's ripe for these kind of situations. The pitch. Line foul down the left field line. Ezekiel Tovar does it. The Rockies in 11 beat the Phillies 3 to 2 on the fourth hit of the night for Ezekiel Tovar. And the young star shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar, wins it for the Rockies.